I, and you yeah. know, along those lines, I want to call something out here. So you you've loaded up um, an existing model because yes. one of the things that uh, certainly anybody that's watching this this broadcast probably probably knows, and if if, if you don't, that's okay. Now now you're going to learn is that <laughs> training a model um, can be mm-hmm. really really expensive. That that's really where you yeah. start to need the, the 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 GPUs and and you know depending on on what it is that you're doing. Now we're going to start to need clusters and like lots and lots and lots of processing power to yeah. generate that model. But once you have the model, um, I don't want to discount the overhead of, of having to use it because there is still overhead. And certainly the more complex the model is, the more overhead that there's going to be. But it's not going to be that same degree of overhead. So I don't yes. need to have a, a, a high-end GPU installed on my system to be able to use this model that you have here. Yeah, if we have time uh, after, I'll, I'll mess with this code a little bit more, but I'd love to show you, um, you know, what's great about this is that you can take these advanced models and then um, that if people have spent, uh, let's be honest, millions upon millions of dollars, like engineering and training and, and establishing and researching, and then you can modify them ever so slightly to serve a completely different need. And um, I can show you that in a little bit as well, if you'd like. Well, we still we've got about like 15, 20 minutes, so yep. I will I will let you decide what do you what do you gotcha. you wrote the book on this? What do you yes. want to show us? All right, let's 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 go ahead and uh, let's let's pin the tail on the donkey with this one. We're looking at a truck. Uh, it, it sees snowplow. It sees a garbage trucker. I mean, all three of the top guesses that the AI gave me were fantastic, and you can get a list of all the guesses um, at the mobile net model. So we can go to here, and here's here's the mobile net model that we're loading up there. If I just dig into the source, and let me go ahead and make this screen a little bit bigger there for the people viewing at home, uh, you can see all the image net classes right here, and here's all the different possibilities that you could possibly see. So I could actually check on here to make sure, you know, just do a search for the word truck and then get all the different kinds of uh, cool truck stuff. And I could make a truck detection, which is one cool thing. Um, and then another thing I could do is I could I could use these to like build something cool. So for instance, I'll, uh, we'll, maybe we'll come back and do it if we have the time. But um, let's say I wanted to make sure nobody's in my backyard <laughs> late at night. <laughs> and if it does, I want it to, uh, I want it to take a photo and send it to me, you know? And I don't need a server running. I could actually put that on a particular device. And then so I could just look for certain things that I don't want in my backyard. And if so, I could have the JavaScript action fire uh, if I find those things. So I could look for any of these things. Now, there isn't one for person, so I can't actually do that. But I could stop cats, apparently. Uh, but <laughs> of, I can of, for, of like, all different varieties. <laughs> yeah, there, oh yeah, there's so many interesting things that this thing is already set to find. But jeans, shirts, uh, glasses. So uh, I, I could basically I could say, give me your top ten finds on this uh, on my on my picture or my webcam or anything like that. And if you find glasses or if you find something else or you find a shirt or something like that then hey what i want you to do is i want you to run this particular code and i could do that today with just javascript knowledge not actually worried at all about uh, um, some of the models that they have here that you know it'll find these ridiculously cool things so maybe you want to make sure nobody's (laughs) riding a unicycle in your backyard uh, <laughs> so we can check for we can check for that check as well. For that. <laughs> right? Uh, no, or, or someone uh, keeps parking a truck in your yard, and you want to get notified when that happens. Take you've got the truck detector, things like that. So uh, what's great about this is we've we've got access to this already trained model, um, and I I wish we had more time. We could we could we could actually write that up real quick. But I want to show you um, another thing. So, so you actually learn all this stuff in the book anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll say it that way. But I have another way of like, uh, you can take things and modify them to do new things. So we could train a new setup for my backyard where I'm like running around in my backyard. I, I noticed I'm finding clothes in all this. So what happens is uh, I had, there's a lot of the person in my backyard has clothes, I'm safe. <laughs> But if I had like, uh, if I were able to do my own data, I could actually train a model to do all kinds of cool stuff and check 
my particular backyard. So I am uh, gonna go ahead and switch this out for an image of a person, which fortunately I have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I figured um, as much. Yeah, smart having this, right? Uh, this is this is my friend John Major, uh, and he's reading a very interesting book there. Uh, this guy is like a model, and so asking him to take pictures was uh, was a genius <laughs> move for me. Um, so now, like that, we've got the predictions here. Uh, we've got this listing of predictions. Uh, one of the things I can do now is just like uh, let's go ahead and, and and see if we're trying to find a person. So I'm going to call like. Uh, found it, and this is going to be the thing that we want to find, right? So I'm just writing some JavaScript here, and I've got the different classes that we could have possibly have. So uh, predictions dot uh, do a for each, because you know we don't do that enough, right? <laughs> and then um, we're going to dig in here for a moment, and then so I'm going to say found it equals. And so I'm just mapping over all the different classes that are coming back here. And I'm going to say, it's once it's true, it stays true. Um, but I'm also going to go ahead and grab like um, the class name off of here, which are all on. these really cool little names that we have. Um, oh, uh, typo, yeah. On, uh, right. Nope, down below on 14, uh, you have found it equals found it. You need a D. There we are. Keyboards, they're going <laughs> to stick around. Um, Hello, computer. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to play a game? <laughs> uh, so this is like looking for genes here. So if uh, we're mapping over all the predictions that are returned, and then um, I'm going to return a true here. So you know, dot includes, uh, just kind of bring in there. So once this turns true, it sees something in here, right? And then so I'm just going to say like, um, if found it, if you did see the genes, alert uh, person detected. And so we'll do that. OK, so um, you can see that we don't actually, it doesn't see any genes in there or something like that. So one of the things I could do here is say, like, uh, normally, a model returns every class. So uh, the mobile net actually has a thousand potential predictions. And what it does is the most likely prediction is that one that was like earlier, we saw it was a truck, it was like 65%. But it still returns like, you know, it still has a label for like genes or something like that. And it'll say, uh, yeah, 0.000001% is like how likely I'm seeing genes in this photo. Um, this is very common for people who are used to AI and kind of like get used to this. It's like, it just tells you what it saw of all the things in there um, in, in this sort of thing, which is uh, called a softmax activation. There are ways to uh, do it separately, but I'm not gonna get into the vernacular too far. I don't wanna lose anybody. So I'm gonna say, give me the, uh, give me 10 of the updates here. Hmm. So uh, with 10, it does not see genes or my code doesn't work. So uh, <laughs> what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna throw in the other things that a person should have. Um, P.class name dot includes. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh no. You have PL. Ah, yeah. This is why I don't, uh, I don't want code. <laughs> P class name, yeah. Uh, P dot class name. Yeah, that would be smart. Yeah, about. And then let's go ahead and see here a shirt. And then, uh, well, you can't really see a shirt very well there, so we'll say P dot class name dot includes. Maybe a hat? Uh, I think they have, I don't know if they have a hat, but I know they have uh, glasses. Do you know? Well, because it, it, oh. it, it, it's got empty string. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Glasses. OK. Oh, OK, there we go. So there this one is not empty string. It sees, uh, it sees his glasses there. And I'm sure it detects like glasses, goggles. Like actually, let's take a look at this for a second. Uh, glasses. So binoculars, field glasses, opera glasses, like a whole bunch of different things, sunglasses, dark glasses, shades. All these, but when any of those strike a positive here, and then ta da ta da, 
you don't know anything about AI. You don't have to. I've used this. I've consumed this. I've added to website. I knew ha I have a webcam now. I could put in my backyard, or I could load photos. And now I'm using AI to tell me what's in a photo. Uh, go back and show somebody this six years ago, and their brains would just fall <laughs> off the planet. <laughs> like where we're going, and it, you, you know, two years from now, like, it just keeps speeding up. Two years from now, this is going to get even crazier and even cooler. So, um, I think that this is this is like a great demo of just how powerful this is getting. I'm doing this in the browser. Uh, my computer is not even choking at all. I'm doing all this stuff. My computer is at 31 uh, percent of CPU, and, and almost so all great. of that is is just us in Streamyard and streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly.